welcome back. I have the lovely Richard Hatch here with me. I like that word, lovely. <laughs> we okay. have to throw it in. You are absolutely lovely. How are you? I'm good. I'm well, great. Are you enjoying being here in Utah? Well, I've been coming here for seven years. You, I love this place. In fact, you actually helped us on the show a few I did. years ago. You brought me in, and there was only women on the show, so I was the token male. <laughs> well, I was teasing him, and, and I, I said, so did you enjoy co-hosting, and I what did. did you say? But they never invited me back, so I figured, you know, I must have blown it. I don't know. We should have had you on with us today. We yes. should have just brought you right in. That would have been great. But you said it was great sitting there with just girls. Well, I think the uh, the guy that you have on this show yes. is doing a great job. Isn't Troy wonderful? Yep. And we just brought him on a few months ago, so it's been really good to have and him. And I love when you got in that mail female emotions, <laughs> this, that. I thought, you know, he represented men Good. very well. Okay, so, so you, you had his back. Troy, he had your back. Okay. <laughs> well, Richard, we you're here for Comic-Con, and we've right. been talking so much about Comic-Con, which is actually starting tomorrow. That's right. But let's talk about Battlestar Galactica and everything that's been going on with that. Now, you are the only actor who is now in both projects right. that have been happening. Tell right. us about it. Well, you know, it's amazing. Battlestar has been out there for 35 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're celebrating the 35th year, um, but it has gone on to reach the world. It went on to a reimagined version, Blood and Chrome, uh, Caprica, and it just seems to have something about it that touches people. Of people course. never forget it. And uh, I've written books, I've done comic books, and uh, I do all kinds of things around Battlestar. But I'm also writing, teaching, lecturing, directing. And I just did a pilot with Malcolm McDowell called Cowboys and Engines. Oh my goodness, so, okay. Which, by the way, for those steampunk fans out there, that's a steampunk series, which we do not have on the air. Well, that sounds so great. And tell <clears> me a little bit about The Second Coming. That was a trailer that you did as well. Well, back in 1999, nobody was doing trailers. The only trailer you ever did was after you made the movie. Mm -hmm. So we made this uh, little animated storyboard that grew into a trailer, a theatrical trailer. We played it all over the country. I had Miramax, Harvey Weinstein, people calling me up, wanting to make the deal, figuring if you have a trailer, you got to have the movie. Right. And I didn't even have, I had no rights. I had no deal with <laughs> Universal. I thought they're going to arrest me, take me to jail. But no, you're Richard Hatch. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> Richard, not the survivor guy, but the Richard Hatch Battlestar Galactic you guy. Got it. Please remember that <laughs> because that did cause me trouble. Um, but nevertheless, it went out. And it, it really touched the world. I mean, we got written up in reviews, and everybody thought we must have a movie. And it just kind of helped promote it. And then eventually they brought back and did the reimagined version, which has gotten Time Magazine called it the number one best drama. Not Forget sci-fi, drama on TV. Well, good for you. And right. I can tell it's something you hold very close to you. But you also do a lot of other things. Tell me about the radio <laughs> show, Love on the Edge. How does she know all these things? I did some research. Uh, well, I, 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 in between acting, writing, directing, I, I have always taught, um, lectured, done Tony Robbins type stuff. I see way too many people struggling in life, too many gifted, talented people. And so I've always done research, taken every seminar, read every book, learning about psychology, philosophy, the human condition, mm -hmm. been taking these workshops on men and women, the differences between the two. Really? Which, by the way, is fascinating. Uh, finding out how we're wired and how we interpret information and how men and women, the way we see something can be so different and therefore there is this disconnect. And if men and women would understand how each other we thinks, could bridge that gap. we could bridge that gap. So anyway, I wanted to do a he said, she said relationship show. Obviously, love on the edge because Good for relationships, you, you know, struggle. we all need help. We all need we help. We all, and by the way, I wish everybody would know that. No matter who you are, we need a coach helps an athlete run faster. Mm -hmm. And all of us, in terms of living a more productive, successful life, better relationship, <laughs> higher quality relationships, we need help. Oh, okay. I love that you do all of this good for everyone. And another thing that I just found so interesting, classical <laughs> pianist, since the age of eight, you started practicing classical piano. I don't know where you got this bio. I, I know, this it. is Actually, true. up to date, but I did. I was, I, uh, my grandmother, all my grandmothers play piano, and they started teaching me when I was very, very young. And so I started, you know, training, and they wanted to take me back to St. Louis. But I was really into athletics. And I actually got into ballet, and I wanted to be Brzezhnikov for a while, and I, you know, You're then the acting. You're speaking my lingo. Oh, really? Yes, Brzezhnikov. We oh, my We talked about So You Can Dance, which is one of my favorite shows. You still watch? I do. Who was your favorite dancer that has been by on the, the way, show? By the way, she was in the top 40, <laughs> which, by the way, top 40 on So You Can Dance is extraordinary. Hey, you're being sweet to me, and yeah. I appreciate that. I can't Thank help myself. Thank you so much. Okay, now you are actually going to be doing some acting classes. I want to throw um. this out for everyone here. If you, he, got, he calls it getting hatched. I love that. That's going to be Saturday from 2 to 3, and also Friday from 10 to 12. 
12, there's going to be an acting workshop. If you want more information, you can follow him on Twitter, Facebook, <laughs> or go to richardhatch.com. And you can also go to our website, abc4.com slash gtu, and we will link you. But he will be there at Comic-Con. Thank you so much That's for right. sitting with more me. Than welcome. Such Thank a pleasure. You so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Fantastic. Hey, coming up next, we've got another fresh and easy recipe from Chef Tom. See how to make Greek meatballs next.